it actually reminds like echoes from the open stack days, you know, or in the in the Europe, T-Mobile, in China, they were building their own private cloud. And now, especially with the change political landscape, there is uh, a lot of countries they would like to build. Everybody wants to leverage AI, but there are a lot of challenges to run at that scale. So can you also talk about that while this Netherlands case might be, you know, a niche, but there you might see a much wider, you know, adoption of this approach. Maybe even within the US, a lot of, you know, organizations, they do want that. And going back, you know, your, you know, once again, your expertise in the OpenStack experience from that, and then also Kubernetes, and then now AI. So once again, it's more like looking at the future, where word is heading, not where word is. So what do you have to say about that? I mean, you're exactly right. Um, the um, AI, AI has to be delivered um, at scale and seamlessly, right? That's the only way um, AI will be consumed. And um, today, um, most people just do training, right? They haven't really figured this out, right? And what we're seeing is people are uh, trying to run to run AI as a SaaS app on chat GPT, right? And they create their own region. And those are early days of how you start. But what's going to happen when you really kind of lean in and real agentic applications will start to hit and they will have to be connected to the data that lives uh, on-prem or it lives in other special uh, circumstances or generated at the edge, scaling this will become a major, major challenge, right? And when you, uh, we, we spent, uh, um, two weeks ago, we spent a week in San Jose on um, NVIDIA GTC, right? And NVIDIA, of course, is pushing, um, inferencing is a big deal now, right? Because unless there is adoption of AI, um, all those infrastructure investments are not going to pan out, right? And so what, what NVIDIA is doing is they're giving you endpoints and their software and everything. They're giving you endpoints to, to which you can connect to build and enable the applications, whether it's NVIDIA Cloud Functions or NIMS as they call them, right? Uh, inference microservices. This is what NVIDIA gives you. And then underneath, they give you hardware. What's in the middle is actually cloud native stuff. And it has to be serverless and it has to be you know, available. And what NVIDIA is saying is we're not gonna be able to teach cloud people how to be cloud people. So they rely on the ecosystem of people like us to deliver that to their customers. And we've had joint conversations with the most massive providers, the likes of the ones you mentioned, I can mention that, who are ready to adopt. And then the conversation goes, oh, but here we need to have your Kubernetes layer and the AI people there who are ready to spend you know, billions of dollars, they're like, we don't know what Kubernetes is, right? So what's gonna happen is there is this gold rush happening, but you have to be able to, you know, to sell picks and shovels, right? And make sure they actually work and available everywhere. Um, and this is for us cloud people to be relevant, right? So um, the, the best way to, to bring this to customers, right, is to find things that already sold and bring them in unusual combination. So this partnership, um, we, we, we explained this to NVIDIA and they've seen pretty much everything that exists. It's not something that they've, that they've seen. So they're like um, really moving us forward to bring that into their reference architecture to, to their customers very, very quickly. Um, we can't speak about it yet, but um, this inferencing solution that Gcore has uh, is, is really one of a kind, and you will see it presented in a lot of uh, reference architectures uh, blessed by the largest vendors out there. And of course, the, the open source communities and foundations. Yeah, I would like to add more points Related to the inferencing, first of all, we in the early stage at this moment because everybody will try to understand the main use cases, how AI can adopt it or help the end businesses, the end enterprises, the end companies to help to grow their business or potentially reduce time to market and etc. 
From the other hand, we have a new department, AI Excellence Centers inside the enterprises, which trying to create those use cases and bring that into production level. But one of the points that, so ML engineers, they're not infrastructure operational engineers. And they really don't focus on the Kubernetes, how to create the Helm charts, how to create the custom resources. So it's some kind of the complexity, how to work with the GPU infrastructure and how to manage the whole Kubernetes stuff. That's why where I came together with Mirantis, where Mirantis know that, so how to build a distributed native GPU infrastructure, Kubernetes infrastructure, and our layer helps to provide the serverless platform where you don't need to think about the Kubernetes at all, how to create those Helm charts. You have a super native UI, IPI, or SDKs, or Terraform, where you can desire what kind of the model you would like to run, open source model, which we deliver as the application catalog. It's the end complex AI applications, which can be delivered in a few seconds. Or if it's the company which trained their model or fine tuned their model, and they would like to up and running that immediately in the production scale. Also, it's like a few buttons, click and deploy. So we're trying to simplify the way how you can up and running in enterprise grade production scale, inference deployments without the super knowledge to how to build that or package that inside the Kubernetes. But this is the, our work and we would like to provide that in a super simple way. So this is the, the key goal to, first of all, we will see the rise of inference workloads and it will be a uh, commodity stuff in a few years. But right now, we help to understand, first of all, how inference can help you. The second point is to build inference in the production scale when you build your POC, but potentially be ready to have a production scale which can be very easily integrated to your end business application. So this is our ultimate goal. Recently, we announced our strategic agreement with the Northern Data. It's the one of the... European GPU cloud providers with the 35,000 GPUs uh, in Europe, uh, but they have also a lot of presence with the data centers. And one of the key goals uh, which we would like to deliver together is to providing the, what we call intelligence delivery network, to providing the inference platform around the globe using the, our network capabilities and the software stack and GPUs around the globe for massive scaling for the end customers. Also, the, our ultimate goal to providing the super simplified access to train the models based on the high-end GPUs with infinite band interconnection where the customers can bring their clusters in a few clicks and train their jobs or train their models, also fine-tune. Also, the capabilities to run the managed Kubernetes based on the also GPU as a worker nodes to up and running the training uh, jobs and uh, using the Kubernetes scheduler for that. And additionally, where the customers can up and running their Slurm clusters for distributive uh, training jobs or any kind of the open source ML ops platforms on top of the our software stack. So we democratize the access to the GPU infrastructure for training, fine tuning and inference together with the Northern data. So this is the kind of the collaboration which we have. And additionally with the Mirantis, so we would like to provide the bridge also for the enterprise customers who are looking for scaling their uh, training jobs, but additionally to save in a proper way their data to have ability to run the same capabilities on-prem. So this is our also one of the ultimate goals as a company to deliver our platform and the open source standards to bring the their GPU bare metal or environment very useful, optimizing from the cost perspective and easy to use for their end customers, for their ML engineers, and also for, that's also, I would like to mention for any other GPU sovereign cloud providers, telco providers, which they can able to provide the same capabilities for their end customers as a service. So we would like to fully automate as the cloud, I don't know, 10 years ago started. Yeah, so an OpenStack started to provide the very simplified access 
to their compute resources, network resources, or storage resources, the same way we, we see in the AI to simplify access to the compute, network, and storage for the AI, specifically for the AI. They have sovereign infrastructure, and we're trying to build a standard stack that could be delivered everywhere and run everywhere. It will be optimized on theirs, but will be available on any infrastructure. Nobody is doing it today, but that's where the standard will come in a year or two with the help of Linux Foundation.